All right, here's a video showing my installation for my Alpine amp there and Rockford Fosgate sub. Uh, 12 inch punch sub, 500 uh, watt max. Alpine amp, speaker level inputs right there. That runs up and is spliced into the bolt rear speaker wire. And of course you have the three wires there, the silver is ground, the skinny one is the remote wire, and the fat blue one is the power one, which runs to the positive on the battery. And then those two, which just go right to the speaker there. Getting to the battery on this car is just a stupid challenge, but anyway, you can see down in there, positive on the battery, the blue wire, 60 amp fuse, cut a little groove in the hood, or the uh, car there, for the wire to run through, then it runs up here, and then you can see, down inside the door. And it comes up here. I have it running under the door jam all the way along. And then right there, it runs into the back seat. And then it comes out behind the sub and is run there. The ground, we had to make our own ground in the trunk. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there. We had to make our own ground there. There's really nothing else good to use. Speaker splices on both sides. This wire is not quite long enough. I'll have to redo it so I can hide it better. And I also need a better location for this amp because it's secure, but it's not a level place for it. Now the remote wire is up here. Under the passenger's footwell, we just kept testing until we found a uh, wire that is activated by the key on accessory and in the on position. We spliced into that and have it running down again, down the door jam, and you can just see a little bit of it there, and then it runs into the trunk. And that's pretty much it now. I still have my factor I still have a factory radio so you can most certainly add a sub amp to your factory radio using speaker level inputs like I have on this one or you can get a line out converter which will convert you splice into the rear wires and it'll convert it to RCA this sub is packs quite a punch I must say The car is pretty solid too, there's not a lot of rattling either. And I might have just destroyed my glasses. Knew I was gonna do that. Anyway. Shut all the windows. Driver window doesn't shut. And then, of course, using the base knob, you can tweak everything.